but yes, this match uh, is not part of the Carrot Cup. Uh, this is in fact a friendly match that I played with Bozo Cow. Um, because I'm, I wanted to give him a better indication of where things sit as far as balance. Uh, keep in mind, this is Bozo Cow fresh off the Carrot Cup, having played a good number of, of games. And this is me after kind of like, eh, I haven't played a while, oh, I should play a match. Um, it's no excuse. Uh, the fact that I play badly is just, it's just fact of the matter. Research completed. Oh, no. God. There we go. Uh, hopefully people can, can hear me now. Can we just check? Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Rally point set. Move to location. I'll take your silence. Oh, yes. So, Bozo Cow is going with a nice aggressive open. He is bringing his base run over. He is bringing his production cruiser over. And he is going... Oh. Uh, have we gone down? Okay. We are apparently still up. Anyway, so we have an opening. LEVs versus skimmers. So, again, using the terrain on Torrent Crater, I'm able to push back Bozo from really being aggressive. Now, what is quite nice here is that Bozo, not one to miss a beat, does dive in here, getting a lot of damage on this LEV and taking it down while this sand skimmer still lives. While he can't chase beyond there because it's high ground for my LEVs, um, again, that's that's still a really good, really good trade by him. And um, what we got here, six skimmers to six LEVs, seven skimmers now. So again, yep, Bozo can take this fight and he is going to go for it, pulling back those skimmers. Preventing me from really getting any effective damage. Um, so again, really solid play here, taking full advantage of his regen, uh, taking advantage of the terrain. And again, I can't, I can't really afford the chase here. Uh, I need to back off. Uh, fortunately, this is this is very favorable with me. It, you know, pull back, do free damage. Doesn't actually achieve anything because nothing goes down. But still. Uh, now, what was unfortunate is, in the meantime, my carrier had moved to this position and was stuck. I had been trying to move it back here for about a solid, ooh, what, what should we say, about 30, 40 seconds. But, uh, again, I'll, I'll live, I'm sure. Uh, meanwhile, I'm trying to expand my eco, going round uh, Bozo Cow here. Now, this is very risky, uh, getting yourself caught in between a skimmer blob and a carrier. Uh, leaves very few options to pull back. Uh, so, basically forced me to fight this now. And while I do have out gr high ground, I am outnumbered substantially. Um, enough so that the high ground is not going to help me win this fight. And once again, Bozo Count focusing fire. So he's focusing down one target at a time while I'm spreading my damage a bit, which is inefficient. Still managed to take a few of these skimmers down, but it is definitely a good trade for Bozo here. Um, I believe, do we manage to get this one down? No? Yes. Do so. Where are we looking at for losses? So, Ghent definitely favours Bozo Count. He is up by five, and he's looking to push that advantage. Uh, and in the meantime, what am I going to do about it? I mean, I've just lost this fight. Been out micro Caught out in, uh, in this little lockdown piece of terrain there. Trying to build up my eco over here. And producing AVs. Where'd the upgrades sit? So, yeah, also Bozo Cow had gotten speed upgrade, armor, and level 1 damage. So, I uh, don't believe my. Yeah, my LAVs only had level 1 armor. So, again, not surprised there uh, with the skimmers managing to win that fight. Uh, but one AV shouldn't really be enough to force these off. It does have an 11 armor, but we have heavy railguns coming down from Bozo Cow, so... 
Again, Bozo in a very good position here. He already has the counter to these AVs. Um, so he can really support these skimmers moving in here. Uh, and now, we've got these AVs covering themselves with smoke, layering it. Now, don't know how well this is going to really turn out, though. Another set of smoke. These AVs are now in range, and putting damage down on these heavy rails. Ooh, poor micro there. So if these AVs had focused, oh, they do get one of the heavy rails down. So... While that's still not a very good trade there, to, to be able to take down one of those heavy rails at all um, is big. Uh, how does that work out on... Yeah, because three... Three AAVs for a heavy uh, railgun. Well, for RUs it's not particularly efficient. Um, for, as far as the RU side, it's actually not that bad of a trade. Because um, I believe it works out as a 105 RU cost for three AAVs, and then it's 90 for a single heavy railgun. So again, still not a good trade, but not a terrible one. Um, Project out coming in here, just sniping out while those logistics modules putting damage on these on these AAVs. Really, just keeping the pressure on. So again, this is great. You know. This, this is a pretty big pit to be trying to dig yourself out of, especially when your opponent, meanwhile, has a full uh, set of economy on their first expansion and uh, is mining their main effectively. That said, no economy damage has really been done here. Um, carrier, my carrier was out of position for a while, which damaged my early eco a bit, but... Um, again, otherwise the economies are pretty much even. Now, we see Bozo Cow here trying to focus down those AVs again. Doesn't want to be losing units unnecessarily, and that is working for him just fine. And with no other choice, just going to throw my carrier in. It's looking like a good game here. You know, it's pretty much over. There's, what, six heavy railguns there. There's a nice skimmer blob. Hmm. That's, that's a carrier of only level, what? Just default power and an extra two from an artifact pickup. Um, meanwhile, there are a couple of AVs here helping to tie things up, and the and the salvage is drawing fire. And Buzzo Cow's entire offensive force, well, entire heavy railgun force is gone to a barely powered carrier. Fortunately, behind this, Bozo is also growing artifacts, which is very important to him right now. Uh, while there is a AV back here derping around, um, we see another heavy railgun coming out, but I don't think that's going to work out well for him. He doesn't have any armor upgrades. I was just going to get chewed up. That's not really what you can afford. How are the units lost? Yeah, it's completely turned around now. Massive RU loss for Bozo Cow now. Um, again, while I expect, no, it's not really a good trade here on the uh, skimmers front either. There's just more and more AAVs coming out, but I suppose right now, um, Pozo is just looking to cover his production cruiser. Uh, it looks like that uh, AAV didn't really achieve much up there. And this, this is a level 3 AV, not to be messed with, an extra 100 HP on that guy. Still scoring kills, uh, but I suspect that Assault Rail is going to shut him down. Down he goes. Uh, unfortunately, that Assault Rail is about to give up a nice chunk of EXP and give immediate level 2 veterancy to that AV, which is uh, plus 1 damage and increased rate of fire. I, I highly doubt Bozo is going to let that live for long. Uh, Bozo has been able to pick up two artifacts in the meantime. And these AAVs are pulling back. It's understandable now. Two heavy railguns. Three? No, two heavy railguns and assault railgun out here. 
Um, so again, nice play there from uh, Bozo, making sure that his uh, production cruiser stayed up. Uh, but still, the losses there, pretty insane. Um, looks like Bozo trying to get the pressure back on now. And nothing being produced by either player at the moment, uh, which seems strange to me. Uh, damage upgrades coming down for LAVs. Have we seen much in the way of... No, so these hand skimmers haven't seen any more upgrades. Um, it looks like right now, again, no upgrades on these rails. I, I do not like that, especially when AVs are on the field. If they can get close, they are going to do a lot of damage very quickly and kill those units. Uh, meanwhile, again, staggering the smoke allows for an easy pickup kill. Again, continued layered smoke. Um, allowing those AVs to go out, do damage, and pull back. Um, and repairs are charged, so these AVs are getting their health back. They're being cycled back in and out. Um, now, fortunately for Bozo Cow, being on this side, he is denying this expansion. Um, and again, the longer this goes on, Bozo is just able to pick up those artifacts. Um, which is going to eventually pay dividends and force me to either come out from protection of my carrier or to lose to an artifact victory. Once again, these four AVs make it very difficult for those skimmers to push in. There's a couple of LAVs in there, uh, but not really enough to get past that skimmer blob, I'd say. Um, and again, Bozo Cal just pulling back and taking advantage of his superior range. But again, losing a few more of those skimmers than he should really be. Um, really wants to keep those skimmers alive to cover for his rails. Again, still, yeah, still no, no armor on those. So, LEVs managed to get in there and start chewing them up quite badly. All the heavy rails going down. Another two back there, which might get destroyed. Again, these LEVs doing a lot of damage now, and there are not the skimmers here to support. Um, so again, Bozo taking what is ultimately quite a bad fight there. Um, again, losing three heavy rails to kill what, three more of those AVs, or four AVs total. Um, it's just not a favorable trade. I would like to see at least level one armor uh, to mitigate some of the damage from the uh, LEVs and AVs that are coming out here. Those heavy rails trying to come and get some damage on. Now, how many LEVs have we got here? We have 12, 14. How many skimmers? Nowhere near enough. Um, this is not a good fight for you, Bozo. I mean, I do like the fact that he's managed to steal this this wreck here, but uh, I don't think he's going to have it for much longer. <laughs> missile ship there. Dropping a missile barrage, not doing much damage to these LEVs. If that was a missile battery, it would have been a very different story. But uh, right now, Bozo is in a lot of trouble here. All of his rails have been cleaned up. He's got another one coming from across the map, but don't see it helping him. Uh, these LEVs are just chewing through everything right now. Um, they have got level 1 damage and level 2, as well as boost. Are these skimmers up fully upgraded? These... These skimmers are fully upgraded, uh, but again, just being mulched due to the sheer numbers difference. Um, and this production cruiser is not long for this world. Just more and more LEVs coming out now. And one production cruiser goes down, which halves Bozo Cow's ability to put out more skimmers. Um, uh, these these LEVs get in veterancy now as well. Uh, what are they seeing? So extra 20% to view range, plus one armor. Um, and if they get the next one, they're going to get plus one rate of fire. 
which moves them up from five shots per burst to six. So, not really what you want to be fighting. Um, and these skimmers are pretty much, yeah, they're done for. I do manage to pick off a LAV, which is good, but I do not see any of those skimmers getting back. It's uh, pretty mean, to be honest. Yeah, what are we seeing here? Just massive difference in firepower. Is that skimmer at least going to get away? Nope, stops there and goes down. Um, so yeah, the real turnaround there was while Bozo was trying to get his rails rolling um, to try and end that fight, uh, just the carrier being able to do so much damage, um, Bozo not investing any defense upgrades for his rails uh, left them incredibly vulnerable. Um, goodness, what is that, Max Veterans? Yeah, oh, almost, Jesus. Uh, so this... This AV doing a lot of damage. It's very important to keep in mind when you get those uh, vehicle hull upgrade uh, veterancy bonuses, that's immediately added to your current HP total. So if, if you get that veterancy at the right time, that's a 100 HP heal all of a sudden mid combat. Um, so do keep that in mind. Is this AV going to live? Living dangerously, I'll say that much. Um, Bit of Bozo came on the back foot. Now he does get a second production cruiser out and it has decided to do a sick flip for us. Um, and air coming out from my side. Now, I think that currently Bozo is just stuck with the rails um, and skimmers. And it's very important to keep in mind this, this match was almost over very early on. Uh, due to Bozo's very aggressive play, um, as you can see by the number of wrecks littering my uh, economy. But uh, mm, never underestimate LAVs. You you need to be ready to counter them. And I'd say I'd say the big one: if those rails had had at least level one armor, they would have been that much more survivable. Um, maybe a few more assault rails in there because there's been no sign of rails on my end. There's no rail tech on my carrier. Um, but we shall see. In the meantime, I am going for artifacts because it is 4-1 in Bozo Cal's favor, so all that Bozo Cal needs is one singular artifact pickup and it is over. Uh, in the meantime, Strike Fighters coming out. Putting some damage on one of those skimmers. Ooh, but then I think those strike fires just killed four, four skimmers due to the AOE, which is just nasty. So yeah, those uh, I always said that initially uh, that was in favour of Bozo Cow, but with the uh, additional damage there brought down by the strike fires that uh, turned that fight around. Um, these are fully upgraded LAVs at this point. And Bozo is bringing out his carrier and getting his production cruisers just to keep his economy up. At the end of the day, all Bozo Cal needs to do is capture one of those artifacts, and he is golden. That will live for another 10 minutes. Ah, oh, this poor base runner. Energy signature confirmed. An artifact has been discovered. Green line confirmed. Strike fighter ready for service. Destination set. Hostile forces are attempting to extract an artifact. Research completed. See, the only thing that really ruins it is the, the giveaway of the Strike Fighters. <laughs> 
Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. The attempt was made. Bad day for Gelsian. Alert. Again, we've got missile ships coming out. Punishing and destroying some of the air. Oh well, it, at least he made it back to the carrier. <laughs> Almost. Um, as far as Bozo's choices, and for Bozo to get into. Into air, he needs to tech the assault ships, which again is pretty big investment. If you're investing in AA, it's a bit difficult because these are, I think, 400 each, 400 CUs per missile ship. So, again, pretty rough. Um, and again, while he's trying to get out base runners, he needs those CUs. Um, but admittedly, Bozo definitely has the RUs, so if he could get into air, I think that would be a massive boon for him. Um, how is he doing for power? He's got a fair amount of power in his carrier as well. Uh, Merely eight of that is from uh, artifact pickups. I kind of want to believe he's basically... Yeah, uh, what's that? Six there. Yeah. He's got carrier power reserves too, at the very least. So let's go back to production. Uh... Another base runner coming in. See, he only needs one base runner. Um, so I do kind of feel like he's going a bit overkill with the base runners, and he should instead try to get into air so that he can burn through those uh, RUs he's got. But it is tough. Um, what have we got coming from my side? Very important to keep in mind, I'm almost at power reserve level 5, so... I think we all know what that can mean. Um, and right now, these AVs just moving over to block the extraction. That's three base runners and two missile ships there? Yep. But the majority of uh, Bozo Cow's military strength right now is that carrier. Um, again, I would also be scared of a backstab. Anything coming around the back here would be able to gut his entire economy. Um, but then when the most important events are over here next to the extraction zone, I can understand not being too worried about it. Um, but those AVs tanking through all the damage. Focusing down the missile ship. Yeah, I suppose there is the fact that uh, if there's no missile ships, then the AA can go absolutely crazy. And missile ships have only got five armor. Uh, keep in mind the missile ships armor upgrades are linked to the assault ship. Um, which again, I think is another big problem with the Gaussian Tech Tree. Um, because all of their AA is essentially linked to the assault ships. Strike fighters all gathering up again. So they are rallying up for another airstrike, but that uh, base runner is already gone. And those AVs looking to push through to the economy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Strike fighters focus down that missile ship, and it is gone. Uh, the only AA that Bozo has to speak of are. The base runners now. Um, maybe they can pick one off. 
four base runners now. Oh, one one of the stroke fighters does indeed go down to the uh, base runner AA, and that nets a very nice veterancy level two uh, for plus one armor and plus ten speed. That is an eighty speed base runner right there. But again, these missile ships just getting chewed up by these AVs. Um, Mm. Those AEVs are stopped, and the missile ship is still up. So it is not over, and there are only four minutes left on the clock here. Um, so, three to four. Bows are now running five base runners. You know, in case you weren't, you didn't think he had enough base runners, he, he has got a fifth. Um... I oh, know that just feels like a massive waste. Um, yeah, he doesn't have any CUs. He's got this massive RU bank. Um, yeah, I've got to say, te get the assault ship tech and and get air. Like, please, I, I know you can just spam scanners for days, but just please. <laughs> oh man. Three missile ships up. So, again, he's got the air cover now. Um, there are only three minutes left on the clock. So, technically, Bozoka just needs to survive. He, he just needs to keep his carrier alive and prevent any more artifact captures. And he can win this. Oh, uh, I should say prevent any artifact pickups. It is important to keep in mind that if a artifact is held, it does count as uh, one for contest contesting the count. Um, however, keep in mind it doesn't matter if you're holding three or holding one; it will only contest a point difference of one. Um, and looks like getting ready for an all-in on my end. AVs and carrier moving out. And that one support cruiser maintaining the economy. Meanwhile, Bozokat does not have much in the way of a military to cope with ground forces. Um, and that's a cruise missile. Uh, they survive. Um, those free heals really paying off right now. Holy moly. So I wish to point out that that nuke just did nothing. That was a complete waste. Um, putting down that missile fall. Again, those missile ships pack a punch. If they had some armor upgrades, I, I think they'd be doing a lot better. But You can't have everything, right? Um, and again, Coalition Carrier pushing in by itself pretty disgusting. It's got a whole... How many is that? Nine strike fighters sat in the bay as well. Um, these base runners are just going to get chewed up though, which is a shame. Bozo trying to repair as much as he can to keep these base runners alive. Uh, in the meantime, one artifact has been picked up. The countdown is at 45 seconds. Uh, if Bozo can destroy that base runner, that will be GG. But uh, losing his entire economy and by the looks of things, all of his production cruisers are going to go down. Um, looking pretty desperate here. Again, Bozo losing everything back here. Go, go, go through the gap there. Run. That way. <sighs> I love the fact that this base runner is able to stay ahead of these AAVs because it's got the same speed as them. Just... But yes, here we are at sudden death, and it's being held like this entirely because of this base runner. Again, if, if Bozo Cow had air, he would be able to snipe out that 
space runner, no problem. There is basically no AA on the map to contesting. Oh, but that's another cruise missile going down. Is anything going to survive that, though? Nothing important. A few salvages live, but the production cruiser and the base runner go down. And... Yeah, there's no AA left. Strike fighters are launching. And really, in reality, all that Bozo Cal needs to do is deal 1,565 damage to a base runner over there. Okay, Bozo made one last attempt to eat my carrier. So again, well played by Bozo Cal. Um, it is again. I do feel like it was a waste not taking advantage of his RU bank, not getting into air. Um, I think that could have been a real game changer for him in the mid and late game. Um, but the bigger one for me was the fact that a carrier with essentially no power investment in it was enough to push off six heavy rails. Um, it's kind of ludicrous. Um, and there wasn't even a, a base runner turret involved anywhere in that. That was just... Yeah. Mm. Kind of crazy to me. Um... You think if uh, I had my LAV supported with a turret somewhere, it would have uh, made for a much more difficult fight for Bozo. But uh, again, points to his, his micro on skimmers it is amazing. Um, and in a lot of ways, I feel like he should have just straight up won that match. Um, but again, Coalition have the tools to dig their way out. Their, their carrier is good, strong, solid piece of gear, gear all around. It's not to be underestimated. Um, and again, the, the nuke just ensuring that it could be closed out. Just I know Coalition just have so many decisive options, um, and it's so easy for them to turn the match around by using them. Um, let's have a look at the stats at the end, though. Uh, so Bozo even had a stronger economy. Um, so he had an extra, almost, what is it, almost 3,000 additional CUs collected, uh, and an additional 500 RUs. Again, I really feel like, you know, he did not take advantage of his RU bank. Um, he needed to tech into something else. He, he stuck with rails, and I, I do feel like that was a big, big mistake. Um... Yeah, so intercepts would have been massive for him. Um, that said, there is the aspect lots of LAVs being around, um, not necessarily being so safe. And after he started using interceptors, there would have probably been base runner AA, um, support cruiser AA. So it, it's hard to say. Um, but no, Bozo Cow played really well. Um, I, I screwed up early on, but the point is I, I still managed to dig my way out of the pit, which is crazy. Uh, still, thank you everyone for coming and watching. Um, I hope some of this has been enlightening, um, and that the rest of you enjoyed the saltier aspects of my commentary. Yes, thank you very much for coming by. You all have fun, and uh, don't go getting me in any trouble, okay?